At our church, Jesus is Lord. That single belief calls us together as a community and sends us into our world with hope and purpose. At our church, your past will never define your future. There's always redemption, which means there's always a brighter day. At our church, we don't think we're better than any other church out there. We're just doing our best to become our best. At our church, we want you to believe in God, but we also want you to know that God believes in you. We are not against people who don't attend church anywhere. Instead, we pursue them with love, the very same love that's pursuing us. At our church, we're learning to serve God with all our hearts, and we're learning to worship Him with all our lives. And if you're looking for the perfect church, we're not it. At our church, we will make mistakes, but we will choose to grow from them. At our church, we're part of a global community that's knit together by the resurrection of Jesus. And by the way, at our church, we believe that really happened too. At our church, we will engage with people who are in real need because we are the hands and the feet of Christ. And finally, we need you to hear this loud and clear. At our church, it's not really our church at all. It's His. And we live and move and breathe in His church for His glory and His fame, not ours. So here's the invitation. You're invited to jump in with your whole heart at your own pace and to experience the life that awaits you in Christ. Friends, this is going to be good. Welcome to our church. Hey, hello everyone. Welcome po sa ating FIJ City Church Sunday Love Stream. This is Pastor A broadcasting live dito po ulit sa aming tahanan. And of course, Happy New Year to every one of you. Yay! Alam nyo mga kapatid, maraming maraming salamat sa pag-join nyo ngayon sa first service na atin sa 2022. Na kahit po tayo ay online, of course, due to our extra precautionary measure po sa Uh, napakadaming pag-increase po ng COVID cases sa ating uh, sa NCR. I believe po na uh, pareho pa rin po ang ating matatanggap ngayon na encouragement and inspiration sa ating Panginoon. And I believe po that everything will be just fine. Ito po mga, mga search na ito ay panandalian lang ito. I believe dahil po ang pandemic na ito, we are declaring that it's gonna be over very soon. Alright? Kaya po mga kapatid, alam ko na sa lahat ng mga nanonood, sa iba't ibang parte ng daigdig, you're so excited and uh, really uh, in great expectation on everything that God is going to do in our lives in 2022. Kagaya po na ating lagi sinasabi that God will do something new in 2022. May it be in, in, in your health, in your uh, finances, in your family, in your career. I believe po na sa lahat ng area ng buhay natin, God is always up to something new and better because He is a good, good God. Amen? Kaya po sa uh, first na ating uh, uh, participation ngayon na uh, interaction, pagsulat po sa ating comment, lagay po natin dyan, God is good. He really is. <laughs> Amen? Talagang ganun po ang ating Diyos at wala po siyang masamang iniisip para sa ating lahat. Lahat po ay mabuti lamang sapagat siya po ay pag-ibig. Alright? So mga kapatid, uh, ang, so in the next few minutes, I just want to encourage all of us in a very... Uh, quick and short message uh, in, with regards to moving forward. Yan po ang ating title ngayon. Alam niyo mga kapatid, uh, for uh, more than 50 years that I've been alive, <laughs> naging uh, sudyante, naging uh, college student, nagtrabaho, nagnegosyo, hanggang sa nag-full-time sa ministry, mga kapatid, isa lang yung laging nat- na- natatanong sa akin na tukol ba talaga sa anong buhay dahil marami mga mga pagsubok, mga trials na lagi natin na natatanggap, no? Kung mga parang kahit na believer tayo and then yung pagsubok na yan ma mo overcome natin. Of course, iba-iba tayo ng mga ng rate ng pag-overcome, mga iba mabilis maka maka-recover, mga iba naman uh, medyo it takes time bago maka maka-recover sa isang hindi magandang pangyayari, sa isang uh, devastating uh, event in their lives. Ngayon in, in reality, if you're gonna sum up the life Uh, our, our life, tungkol ba saan ito? Bakit ganun paulit-ulit yung mga hindi maganda nangyari, may mga magaganda nangyari? And uh, wala ba kayo napapansin na even yung mga masasayang mga parte ng buhay natin ay panandalian lang? <laughs> Nothing is really permanent, right? Kahit masaya, kahit may party, natatapos pa rin yung party. Kaya po, in, if you take the perspective of the of the good things and the bad things that are happening in our lives, 
makikita po natin na parehong temporary, <laughs> di ba? Temporary minsan yung sagana, yung kasaganaan, temporary, biglang magkakaroon ng luck, biglang magkakaroon ng problema. Minsan naman, yung, uh, on the other side, ang, ang hope naman na binibigay na sa atin ay ganito naman. Kapag ka tayo naman ngayon ay nasa gitna ng pagsubok, nasa gitna ng hindi maganda nangyayari, ang good news po sa ating lahat ngayon ay temporary lang din yung hindi magandang bagay. Amen? So, uh, in, in, in the realm of reality that we are in right now, inside time, alright? So, we are talking about temporary things. Yung masasaya, temporary. Kaya nga, di ba may kanta na some good things never last? <laughs> di ba pareho lang, yun yung, yun yung para, pareho naranasan natin lahat, di ba? Kaya po yung inawit natin kanina, hindi nagbabago, di ba? Sabi ron, ang lahat ay nag-iiba, tulad ng himig ng kanta, biglang luluha kahit na nagsasaya. Di ba? May mga ganun. So, tayo po mga human beings, right? We are really... Uh, Settled in this in this time frame na sa loob po ng time frame na ito ay merong idea ng temporary. May, may hindi, may, may, may yung, yung pagbabago mga kapatid. And ano ang dapat nating uh, maging attitude in, so that we can handle this, uh, this uh, the pain of uh, sadness and of course yung, yung, yung panandalian na ligaya rin, hindi ba? Yung, yung mga magagandang bagay, hindi nagtatagal. How do you handle that? Because if you fail to handle that, mga kapatid, you're gonna be depressed. Kasi bakit? Para ka nalang sumasama ng mga iba sa atin, siguro kapag ka na may, may hindi magandang pangyayari, ang tendency, medyo napapagod na tayo, we tend to just be stuck, di ba? No? Na tumitigil na lang tayo sa buhay natin, we don't want to do anything anymore. And on the other side, kapag ka may opportunity naman na, na liligaya ka ulit, or sasaya ka ulit, or uh, magninegosyo ka ulit, Minsan, ang, ang, ang nagiging epekto na ito sa atin ay nagkakaroon na tayo ng takot. Bakit? With the, with the mindset na, oh, sasaya ako ngayon, pero next time, lulungkot ulit ako. Paano ngayon yun, di ba? But then again, mga kapatid, I'm so glad to tell you this morning, first Sunday of 2022, a great hope that comes from the wisdom of our God written in the Bible na ginamit niya po ang mga tao para isulat. Alright? Yung, yung, yung paano natin i-handle itong itong ever-changing situation that we have in this life that uh, we are living in this planet Earth. Kaya sapagkat po, para sa akin, importante na magkaroon po tayo na napakagandang perspective. Sapagkat po, 2022 ngayon, alam nyo ba na next year, 2023 naman, <laughs> at marami na naman tayong pagtatagumpayan, marami na naman mga trials na mga mangyayari itong 2022 hanggang 2023, hanggang tayo po nabubuhay. And my goal today, all right, is to encourage and inspire all of us na sa kabila ng ever-changing time, we can hold on to something and we can we can look into something that will really encourage us to live life to the full. Na kahit po may pabago-bago, nagbabago yung, yung kasiyahan, madaling nawa, nawawala, yung mga, yung mga hindi magagandang bagay ay hindi rin naman nagtatagal, napapalitan din ng mga magaganda. You know what? Na ma-enjoy po natin yung season na ito ng ating mga buhay. All right? So are you ready, mga kapatid? Are you ready? Amen. Ito po. Uh, you know what? Kagaya po ng title na ginawa natin, The Blessing of Moving Forward. Okay? Moving Forward. Sa buhay po natin, ever since, mga kapatid, in the beginning pages of our Bible, na isulat po ng mga authors yung isang napakagandang narrative na nais po ng ating Diyos Ama para sa ating lahat. And that's just to always move forward. All right? Patutunayin ko po sa inyo. Tinan po, po natin na sa Genesis 128. Ang ganda po ng, uh, ng verse ito. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number to Adam and Eve. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the earth and over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. So mga kapatid, yung unang-unang uh, instance, unang-unang command right, kay Adam and Eve during that time, yung parang, uh, parang uh, encouragement is to just Go and multiply, all right, and re replenish the earth. No, mga kapatid, sa una mga pahina pa lamang na, ng ating mga Biblia, makikita na po natin doon yung isip, ng, yung, 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 uh, yung wisdom ng ating Diyos na He always wants us to just go and just uh, uh, multiply and replenish. Ginagamit niya po tayo to really, uh, gagamitin niya tayo to really reflect His image, all right, who is the restorer, who is love, who is peace, into all the earth, into all the world. Diyan po kay Adam and Eve. Now, ito naman po. So, of course, Adam and Eve, 
uh, failed, hindi ba na sila na nahulog sa temptation and all. But then again, ito na naman po, dumating naman si Noah sa Genesis, Genesis 9 verse 1. Ito po sabi, no? Then, so, alam nyo na, nagkaroon ng flood, hindi ba? And then the, the, the ark settled down in a mountain. Then God blessed Noah and his sons, saying to them, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. Genesis 9 verse 1. So mga kapatid, parang pangalawang beses ang sinasabi ng Diyos ito. Alright? Magmula sa book of Genesis pa lang, sa opening, uh, opening stories ng Genesis. Puro may dalawa na kagad. Go and multiply. One from Adam and, for Adam and Eve and the next one kay Noah. So mga kapatid, hindi tumitigil yung puso ng ating Diyos sa, sa kanyang idea, sa kanyang desire for all of us to just continually move, move, move forward, alright? And then, hindi, 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 po, hindi, na po, hindi pa natatapos dyan. So, after Noah, ay may, meron na naman pong dumating sa, sa Genesis 11. Ito na naman po yung kay Babel. Nalala nyo si Babel, yung gumawa ng Tower of Babel, right? So, now the whole world had one language and a common speech. Yan nga. As people moved eastward, and lumalakad daw yung mga tao eastward, alright? But then again, they found a plain in Shinar and settled there. Kaya mga kapatid, yun yung narrative ng Tower of Babel. In the beginning, ang ganda, people are moving forward, eastward, okay? Moving eastward. Gumagalo po yung tao na yun yung sinabi kay Adam and Eve, yung sinabi kay Noah, and this time, ay for a time, tinutupad ng mga tao noong no panahon ni, ni Babel. But then again, itong malungkot, sabi ganun, they found a plain in Shinar and settled there. At alam nyo na po yung naging kwento, di ba? Nagtayo sila ng tower because they wanna settle there and try to reach God from their settlement. Kaya mga kapatid, at alam na natin yung kwento and God uh, caused the language na magkaiba-iba, di ba? And then, nagkawatak-watak yung tao during this time. And of course, hindi pa natatapos dyan. Pagdating po ng Genesis 12 in the life of Abram, okay? Because there's a desire of God to really gather the people once again. Yung nagiwahiwalay dun po sa plain of Shinar. And then he called Abram. Ito na po yung uh, unang-unang trabaho ng Diyos in, uh, Genesis, in the book of Genesis to really let his plan uh, keep on rolling in the lives of men and women in that part of history. Kaya po sabi kay, kay Noah, the Lord had said to Abram, ganda nito ah, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. And nga, uh, I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great. Yung, yung po'y pinangako kay Abraham sa Genesis 12 verse 1 and 2. But then again, makikita natin dito, ito na naman po yung, 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 yung uh, utos. Go from your country to the land that I'm gonna show you. <laughs> Amen? Wala po ba kayo napapansin? Early on, sa, sa narrative po ng... Uh, ng ng, uh, ng ng biblical writers sa story na gusto gawin ng Diyos laging nandoon po yung moving forward going going go there go wag kang titigil don't stop all right keep on progressing kaya mga kapatid and then of course Abraham followed at nagkaroon na po siya ng mga anak at na, ito na po dumating na si Moses hanggang ito na naman po yung nangyari mo uh, the Israelites were were in bondage in uh, uh, in the Egyptian uh, uh, slavery for more than 400 years, and God sent Moses naman ngayon. Sabi naman po ni Lord kay Moses, Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to Pharaoh and say to him, Yan na naman, no? This is what the Lord, the God of the Hebrews, says. Ito na nga, Let my people go so that they may worship me. Oh, hallelujah. Let my people go. Kaya mga kapatid, Genesis hanggang Exodus, Grabe, ang dami ng mga instances na moving forward, go, 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 alright? Kaya po, makikita natin na yan talaga ang puso ng Lord sa atin. And of course, uh, uh, Moses led the Israelites out of the Egyptian bondage. At nung namatay po si Moses, ito na naman po ang pumalit, si Joshua. Alright, ito, ito po yung sabi ng Lord kay, Mo, kay Joshua. Moses, my servant is dead. Josh, Joshua 1 verse 2. Alright, Moses, my servant is dead. Now then, you and all these people get ready to cross the Jordan River in the land I'm about to give to them, to the Israelites. Kaya mga kapatid, imagine if you're one of the Israelites back then, biglang sasabihin ng Lord sa, lead, sa, sa inyong lahat na, Moses, my servant, is dead. And the next in line na susunod po kay Moses na kanyang parang right hand ay walang iba, kundi si Joshua. Kaya mga kapatid, matindi ito para kay Joshua, pero sabi kay Joshua, Hey Josh, hey Josh, <laughs> Moses, my servant, is dead. Parang wala na explanation, no? 
parang uh, uh, Joshua, wag ka nang hihingi ng explanation na Moses is dead. That's it. Okay? So, but, uh, prepare my people to cross the Jordan River. Ganun po yung sabi ka Joshua. Kaya mga kapatid, bakit, ano ang, importa- ang importance nito? Even when the most important person in the room dies, you know what mga kapatid? Life goes on. Can we type all together now? Sabihin po natin, life goes on. Alright? Kahit na po may mawalan trabaho, may mawalan na kahit anong bagay, may mawalan na isang opportunity. Listen, I want to encourage <laughs> every one of you, lalong-lalo ka na kapatid na medyo discouraged ngayon. Listen, life goes on and on and on and on. Alright? Because that's the heart of God for all of us. And indeed, Joshua uh, prepared the people, right? And then they crossed the Jordan River. Pangalawang crossing po, isa Red Sea, isa naman po ngayon ay Jordan River. Kaya mga kapatid, imagine si Joshua, nakadalawang crossing na itong bata na ito, no? Nang isang body of water. Kaya po, bakit? He's part of the moving forward, the moving on, and the going forward na, na idea po ng Lord sa mga Israelita during that time. And of course, wala na pong ibang mas, uh, mas titindi pa sa isang nagsabi right, ng, ng going. Walang iba kundi si Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, all right? our Prince of Peace, our, our Comforter. Mga kapatid, before He ascended into heaven and get back to heaven itself, sabi niya po sa kanyang mga disciples sa, sa Mark 16 verse 18, sabi niya, He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Mga kapatid, if, if I'm gonna pause for a while at this point, ma- antinde no? Kung baga parang uh, doon pa lang sa Genesis, ilang beses na yung go, 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 move forward, go forward. Moses, my servant is dead. Prepare my people to cross. <laughs> right? Meron na naman ulit mobilization lagi. And then here is Jesus Christ after ministering for three and a half years, performing miracles and really becoming the the represent the representative of God, the exact image of the invisible God, telling people, "Hey, your Father loves you. You are the light of the world. You are all right. You are the salt and light." Kaya mga kapatid, yung kanyang final words sa kanyang mga disciples, hindi po ito yung Great Commission. Ito po yung Last Commission. <laughs> Parami po nagkakamali dyan. Kala natin yung go into all the world, yung mission. Yan po yung Great Commission. No, for me, that is the Last Commission because the greatest commission is love one another. Alright? So, wag po nating ipapagpalit po yan. The Great Commission is love one another. The Last Commission is go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. To all creature. Kaya mga kapatid, even in the mind of Christ, alright, na sa kanyang ministry ginawa, ang nais niya po sa kanyang mga disipulo ay talagang humayo, alright? And to just continually move forward with, with what they learned about Christ. Sa, sabi niya pa nga na, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and teaching them everything I've told you, alright? And sabi niya, lo and behold, I'm gonna be with you to the end of the age, yung end of the old covenant age. Jesus Christ saying, I'm gonna be with you, hindi ko kayo iiwan kailanman. Kaya mga kapatid, this is so amazing. Now, ang kung sasatatanungin niyo ko, so Pastor Arnel, yung yung pala ang nais ng Lord sa ating lahat. Now, the question is how to move on. <laughs> All right. All right? Because for many of us, maybe we are having a bad start this uh, January 22, the, some, something did not uh, work out right, may inaasahan ka, hindi nangyari, may hindi magandang nangyari on the, the big onset of the new year. Ito na naman, meron na naman tayong surge ng uh, COVID na pandemic na ito. Anong gagawin natin? How to move on actually? All right? Let me give you uh, three tips. Okay na sa inyo? All right. Ito po number one. Make the decision to move on or let go. <laughs> All right? Make a decision to just move on and just simply let go. Mga kapatid, yan ang isang napakagandang idea o napakagandang uh, ugali na naisong inspire and encourage tayong lahat. Kasama na po ako, alright? Na make a decision, let's make a decision na ano man yung nangyari na hindi maganda noong 2021, I'm gonna decide, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna, not gonna be stuck in the past. Sa totoo lang, ang number one na kalaban po natin na, ng pag-move on ay yung regret. Yung sayang, sana, di ba no? Kung mga parang, uh, kaya tuloy na natatakot na tayo mag-move on kasi bakit? We are, we are, we are stuck in the past. And, uh, and ang ganda po ng sinabi ni St. Paul about this uh, predicament in uh, Philippians 3 verse 13. Ito po ang napakaganda. Uh, sabi niya, Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. Okay? Hindi ko sinasabing naintindihan ko na lahat. 
<laughs> right? Or nakarating na ako sa pupuntahan ko. But one thing I do, ang ganda nito mga kapatid, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead. Oh, I love this. I love this statement na ginawa ni Paul. Sabi niya, you know what guys? I don't have it all figured out. Marami pa akong struggles. Marami pa akong mga pinaglalabanan. Marami pa akong dinaintindihan sa buhay ko, sa, sa theology, sa Diyos. Pero one thing for sure, one thing I do, na nice kong encourage kayong lahat, forgetting what is behind, alright? And just focusing on what is ahead. Oh, I love that. I love that statement. Mga kapatid, let's forget what happened. Hindi naman natin sinasabi na forget na nakakalimutan or hindi mo naman talaga pwedeng sadyain kalimutan eh, di ba? I mean, can you actually do that? Uh, forget. Uh, nakalimutan ko na nangyari. Wala na, hindi ko na maalala. Hindi po ganon. Ang mindset po ni Paul dito ng forgetting is the point that I don't give it weight anymore. Kung ano yung mga nangyaring hindi magagandang mga nangyari noong nakaraan, hindi ko na binibigyan ng bigat. <laughs> alright? Hindi ko na binibigyan ng masyadong halaga. Sapagkat that's the past. Alright? Because as for him, sabi niya, one thing, ito lagi yung ginagawa ko to be successful in life, to just to continually move forward and continually move on in my life. Mga kapatid, sabi niya, forgetting what lies behind. Alright? Forget it, mga kapatid. Yes, hindi, hindi ka nagkakaroon talaga ng amnesia. Hopefully, magkaroon talaga tayo ng amnesia na, ano yun? An- anyari? <laughs> Pero delikado rin yun, di ba? Pero yung point po rito ni Paul is this. Don't give it so much weight. Let it go. Alright? Sabi nga po ng kasabihan eh. Uh, sometimes in life, it's not about how strong you hold on, but it's how easy you can let go. Wow, di ba? How easy you can let go. Uh, may nalugi, easy lang na malet go mo na yung idea, di ba? Niloko ka, may nangyari hindi tama, may, merong, uh, merong, uh, may, may, may scam na nangyari, may nabudol ka. <laughs> Mga kapatid, it's okay. It happens to everybody. All right? Don't isolate yourself. Because the moment you did isolate yourself, mga kapatid, alam nyo kung ano mangyari, madidepress ka na lang kasi bakit sasabihin mo, I'm such a foolish uh, person, hindi ako marunong, aanganga talaga ako, wala talaga akong pag-asa. You know what? Uh, bad things happen to anybody. All right? Life happens. Pwede type natin sabay-sabay, life happens. <laughs> all right? Yung po talaga nangyari because we are living in, a, in an imperfect world. All right? Kaya po yung encouragement sa atin lagi is to just forget the past. Okay? Don't give it so much weight. And sabi gano ni Paul dito, sabi, uh, forgetting what is behind and straining, yung straining po rito, putting all my effort to what is ahead. Yun ang maganda. Ano man yung nangyaring pangit, yung effort natin ngayon, hindi para papangitin pa yung pangit. Alright? Ang effort natin ngayon ay lalong isipin na, okay, pangit yung nangyari, pero itong year na ito, mas maganda nangyari. Straining towards what is ahead. Alright? So mga kapatid, let me encourage you today, lalong-lalo ka na kapatid, sino ka man na talagang nagdudusa ka ngayon, medyo talagang broken-hearted ka, you're in pain, you're suffering, let me tell you this, forget what lies behind and I'm telling you, everything will be so much better. Amen! Thank you Jesus! Hallelujah! Napakaganda po talaga niya na talagang forgetting what lies behind and straining towards what is ahead. At isa po po talagang ba nais na parating ni St. Paul sa ating lahat dito ay yung idea po ng, uh, ng, mga, ng ating Christian lives in, in terms of our revelation. Ito, gusto, gusto ko itong part na ito. Mga kapatid, Paul was so deeply seated in a pharisaical system being part of the Sanhedrin during the time sa Jewish uh, temple system ng Old Covenant. Pero po sabi niya, you know what I did? One thing I do, I forget what lies behind. That includes everything I learned, right? Under the old covenant system of the temple, uh, temple system, mga kapatid. Kaya po, yun po yung idea. That's why even in our Christian life, sa lahat po ng aking mga kapatid, na mga Christian na, maybe you are experiencing some sort of parang dried up na yung, yung spiritual life natin. Because maybe, alam nyo, meron na akong konting uh, uh, pre, uh, pre, uh, pre, prescription or maybe uh, uh, sasabihin sa inyo na baka mamaya para yung Christian life natin ay tumigil na. Yung revelation natin kay Jesus Christ ay kung ano yung natutunan natin 10 years ago, yung pa rin ngayon. <laughs> Alright? You know what Paul will tell you today kung siya po yung nabubuhay? Sabi, you know what brother? Just move on. Forget the past. Yung mga revelation na natutunan mo kapag kami narinig ka na panibagong revelation na lalong ikabubuti at ikaluluwalhati ng ating Panginoong Yesus, go for that. 
When love is magnified, go for that. Continually move on, progress in your revelation. Hindi po tayo pwedeng tumigil sapagkat nakakalungkot. Kapag ka tumigil ka na, you know what will happen to you? Magiging ano na, stagnant na. And you know what? Everything that does not flow starts to die. Yun. Kapag ka wala ng flow, it will start to die. Alam natin yan sa nature. Kapag ka nagkaroon, binlak mo yung river, pag binlak mo yung sapa, yung, yung brook, mga kapatid, mag, 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 dudumi na yung tubig at wala ng, wala ng buhay na mangyari until mamatay na po yung, yung body of water na yan. Same is true in our Christian life. The moment you stop, the moment you stop learning and relearning and really getting some new revelations, that will really uh, make you grow in your knowledge of the love of God for you. Mga kapatid, pag tumigil tayo, nako, wala na mangyayari, ano na lang, lagi makikita mo na lang yung mali ng ibang tao, magiging judgmental ka na lang, magiging uh, condemning ka, magiging, ano ka na, ma- ma- wala na kasi bakit? Magiging uh, miserable na yung Christian life mo sapagkat you're, gonna be, you're, you're stuck in those revelations that you learned years and years back. But you know what, mga kapatid, ang, ang, ang goal ng Lord sa atin is to just continually move and move and move forward in our revelation of His goodness and love and grace for all of us. Kaya po, sa lahat ng aking mga ka-faith, maraming maraming salamat for continually surfing and just really uh, journeying with us in this some, some kind of a sometimes difficult journey sapagkat yung mga revelation na nakukuha natin ay talagang many times ay bago, talagang mind-blowing na lalong naluluwalhati yung kabutihan ng Diyos para sa atin. Maraming salamat sa inyo. And I'm telling you, more things are ahead of us. Greater things are ahead of us, especially in 2022. Napakarami pa pong bubuksan ng Diyos ng mga panibagong mga revelation na mamamangha po tayo. At ano ang, ano ang, uh, ang protest ito? Ano ang result? Mga kapatid, we will continually progress and move and go and move forward. At dahil po yan ang nais ng Lord para sa ating lahat. So, Paul is even saying, yung lahat na natutunan ko sa Old Testament system, I consider it all garbage. <laughs> all right? Hindi lang garbage. Uh, dang, dumi. All right? Uh, yak na yun. Ha? Pero po sabi niya, compared to the knowledge of Christ that I've learned in my life right now. Oh, that's so good. Compared to. Lahat na natutunan natin under the law is nothing. Is It appears like garbage. Pupo compared to the knowledge of Christ. Kaya mga kapatid, yung knowledge of Christ, I don't know if you'll agree with me, talagang liberating, freeing, it brings back humanity in human beings. Diba no? Binabalik sa atin yung dangal na pagiging tao na hindi lagi tayo may problema ka sa Diyos, ang Diyos may problema sa, sa iyo. Lagi pinapalaki tayo ng, ng religion sa galit ng Diyos sa atin para magpapakabait tayo, para ang Diyos hindi magagalit. Paikot-ikot na buhay mga kapatid. And I'm telling you, you have to progress. You have to move forward and continually know our Father as a good, good, good Father. Amen? Yan po yung part ng ating progress in our Christian life. Na sabi ni Paul, forget what lies behind. Huwag natin isipin na, pero Pastor Arnal, itong doktrina na ito, tinuro pa sa akin ito ng lolo ko, yung favorite kong pastor na foreigner. Di ba? Yung pinuntaan ko pa itong pastor na ito sa isang seminar. Eh, siya yung nagpakulo ng teaching na yan. Sabihin ko yun, sasabihin mo na uh, move forward, na iwanan ko na yan. Yes, a lot of times, mga kapatid, you have to let go of those uh, revelation na hindi nag align sa tunay na karakter ng ating Diyos who is love, who is good, who is the God of all grace. Kaya mga kapatid, yun ang napakagandang encouragement ni Paul sa atin. Really, uh, progressing in our journey, in our revelation. Sapagat if, again, if we fail to do that, mga kapatid, mawawalan ng lasa yung Christian life natin. Mawawalan ng kulay, magkakaroon ng stagnation, magkababaho at hanggang sa feeling mo parang ang layo-layo na ng Diyos, parang hindi ka na lumalago, yan po yung mga, yung mga feeling po if, if we stop growing and progressing and moving forward in our Christian journey, alright? So, number one, make the decision to just let go, alright? Number two, enjoy the moment. Mga kapatid, you know what? In moving forward, bakit ba tayo nagmo-move forward? For us to enjoy the moment, you know what? Even yung, yung pagpapakilala po ng Diyos sa atin, He is our present help in times of need. Present, alright? Kaya po sa totoo lang, kaya po laging, uh, ito yung sinushare ko, di ba sa inyo lagi na may mga taong na didepress ngayon sapagkat hindi nila kayang mabuhay in the present. <laughs> yung po yung mer- sabi nga nila yung mga ADHD Christians, yung may attention deficit, yung hindi mapirmit. Laging ang utak nasa future or nasa past. Hindi ba, no? M- mga kapatid, I'm declaring right now that in 2022, you'll do better in living in the present. Okay? Lalo-lalo sa mga nanay, mga ina ng tahanan, alam ko maraming alalanin, 
Pero po, try to enjoy the enjoy life. Kapag ka nasa pamilya tayo, enjoy family. Kalimutan muna yung trabaho. Pag ka nasa trabaho, focus on work. Alright? Pag nasa church, uh, focus on church. Pag nakikinig sa live stream, live stream lang lang muna. <laughs> Amen? Mamaya na maglaba. Kasi po, pagka hindi natin mapirme, hindi tayo mapirme, you know what, mga kapatid? We cannot enjoy the moment. You know what will happen? Magkakaroon ka ng regret, maraming regret. Kasi bakit? Pag nasa church ka, in, ang iniisip mo, trabaho. Pag nasa trabaho ka, iniisip mo yung church. Pag nasa bahay ka, ang iniisip mo yung Yung, yung church. <laughs> Pag nasa church ka naman, iniisip mo yung bahay. Hindi ka, yung utak natin wala sa present. And didn't you know that God's heart for all of us is to live the moment? Yung life po, the life that we have is our breathing. Enjoy our breathing. Alright? Kahit may, may problema, kahit may sakit, kahit may, may just continually breathe. Great! Alright? Because that's the gift of God for all of us. You know what? You have to enjoy the moment. Kapag ka, hindi po natin kayang gawin yan, mga kapatid, uh, ano ka, manghihinayang ka pag uh, namimiss ko yung church kasi pag nasa church ka, yung bahay mo, ang iniisip mo, namimiss ko yung pamilya ko kasi pag nasa pamilya ka, ang iniisip mo yung trabaho. <laughs> Di ba? Pag nasa trabaho ko, nagigilty ako sa work ko kasi bakit pag nasa work ako, iniisip ko yung mga pamilya ko at saka yung bakasyon. Kaya mga kapatid, wherever you are right now, just enjoy the moment, okay? Because that's the life that, ito lang, ito lang po yung life worth living, yung now, alright? The moment that we have right now. Can, some, can everyone type right now? Now. <laughs> now is the moment. Okay? So mga kapatid, yung, 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 uh, yung kinabukasan, ito po yung nice kong i-share sa atin last. Okay? Trust God for the future. Okay? Trust God for the future. So mga kapatid, uh, ang ganda po ng sinabi ni Peter sa 2 Peter 1 verse 3. Ang ganda nito. Basahin natin na. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life. Through our knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. Oh, napakaganda. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. Mga kapatid, napakagandang encouragement na binigay ni Peter. Alright, dito na. Yung divine na kapangyarihan daw ng Diyos na nasa sa atin ngayon. You know what? Christ is in us, okay? It's more than enough for us, all right, to live this life godly. Na lahat daw ng kailangan natin ay binigay na sa atin. Everybody shout with me. Sabihin po natin, I'm already blessed. Come on, come on. Sabihin niyo, I'm already blessed. Ayan po, napakaganda. Sabi, everything we need, lahat ng kailangan natin, may it be spiritual, financial, emotional, whatever it is, mga kapatid, binigay na raw sa atin. Kaya sa, sa totoo lang, ang isang pinakamalaking litong-lito tayo mga Christians ngayon yung, yung idea na we already are. Karamihan po sa atin ay nag-struggle pa rin. I will be, I will be, I will be. But you know what? Christ in you, sabi po ni Paul sa Colossians 1.27, Christ in you is, is a hope of glory. Mga kapatid, si Kristo na nanas sa atin. You know, siya po yung ating pag-asa, siya yung ating kapayapaan, siya po yung ating kagalingan. If you're sick today, you know what? Claim the healing that is already in you. <laughs> How can you do that? I claim healing that's already in me. I'm already healed. Alright mga kapatid, bago ko pa man nagkasakit, healing was already made available for you because Christ is living in you right now as I speak. So mga kapatid, trust God for the future. Magtiwala tayo mga kapatid, kagaya sinabi ko sa inyo, ba? marami sa atin, parang uh, wala na, ba? parang dead end na yung career, wala nang kumukuha, wala nang kliyente, wala na kasi pandemic, ba? maraming alibay. But you, you know what mga kapatid, put our hope in our good God. You know why? Because He already gave us. Sabi nga po ni Paul in one of these passages na, ba? we have already been blessed with every spiritual blessing in high places. Ano high places na yun? That's the presence of God, and that presence of God is already in us. That's why right now, you are already blessed, alright? Shout it and believe it, receive it, and by the way, live it. <laughs> Ikabuhay natin. Huwag natin aalisin yung ngiti. Alam nyo sa totoo lang, yung ngiti, yung, yung uh, smile, yan po talaga ang isang, uh, isang uh, manifestation ng hope na meron tayo sa atin Diyos. Because we can smile knowing that uh, God is already in our future, and of course, He is in our present, and we trust Him because He is our good Father. Can somebody shout, Amen? <laughs> Amen? So mga kapatid, yung po yung, uh, yung ating uh, gusto kong i-encourage ang lahat ng aking kafeit at lahat ng nanonood sa iba't ibang parte ng daigdig sa mga oras na ito. Mga kapatid, 
just move forward, okay? Just continually move on. Shake those dust. Kung medyo talaga medyo matagal na kinestock dahil medyo na-depress kayo, you know what, 2022 is the, you know, ang isang napakaganda sa New Year is the perfect chance to just begin again. Di ba, no? Kasi bak- bakit? Nagsisimula lahat, di ba, no? Parang napakaganda mag-restart. And uh, the perfect restart that we can ever do right now is to just make a decision, Lord, I'm gonna move forward in my Christian life, in my theology, in my in my revelation i want to know you more yung po yung yung ipanalangin natin itong taon na ito and i'm i'm telling you mga kapatid god will always answer that prayer it will always happen sapagkat po yan ang kalooban ng lord sa atin let me let me close with this uh, with this uh, thought kung merong mang panalangin na ipapanalangin tayo na sasagutin ng lord every time 100% gusto niyo ng prayer na yan <laughs> Na sure boy, sasagutin ni Lord. Talagang ngayon na ngayon na kagad. You know what? The moment you pray, Lord, I want to move forward. God is already right there for you. You know why? Because that's God's heart for all of us. He wants us to always move forward, move forward. Mga kapatid, dinideclare ko sa marami sa atin ngayon, itong 2022, mahahawakan nyo yung pinakamalaking amount ng pera na mahahawakan nyo sa buong buhay nyo. Amen? Naniniwala kayo dyan? Lahat ng mga pinapatas ko ng kami na who wants to be multi-millionaire, it can happen, it will happen as long as you move forward. Yung hope po na meron tayo, hindi yung parang bumili ka ng lotto ticket, tapos naka, nakaupo ka na lang sa, sa sofa mo at nagantay ka na lang ng resulta bukas. Hindi po ganun. Yung hope na meron tayo ay gaganda itong taon na ito, pero I'm gonna move forward. I'm gonna do better. Mas, magka, mas magiging hardworking ako. Mas mag, bibigay ako ng matinding effort sa karir ko. Mas gagalingan ko pa. You know why? Because that's part of moving forward. You, you, you want to be better than who you were in 2021. Kaya mga kapatid, I'm declaring even lahat ng ating mga pamilya, your family will be so much better financially, relationally, emotionally this year. At ano po ang number one na dapat natin gawin? Lord, I want to decide to move forward, to grow, and to just advance sa lahat ng aking mga ginagawa. And I'm telling you, God is already right there, alright? Sinagot na po ng Lord kaagad-agad yan, ngayon na ngayon na rin. Kaya mga kapatid, I'm sure that you're encouraged by this message. And of course, walang mangyayari sa message ito kung message lang, okay, ganda ng message na encourage You know what? I, uh, meron akong project or assignment na ibibigay sa atin ngayon na Bago po matapos itong araw na ito, siguro sa cellphone nyo lang, maglagay lang kayo ng three items na yung top three na gusto nyo gawing moving forward na maganda na ibibigay nyo yung buong effort nyo po mga kapatid sa taon na ito. Alright? Will you do that? <laughs> for your family? For yourself? Alright? Sapagkat hindi na po ito for God. You know why? Because God wants that. Alright? And if God will tell you, you know what anak, do that for you. <laughs> Alright? So, Kahit ngayon po, sa cellphone nyo, somewhere in your notes, maglagay na po kayo kahit isang word lang, kahit isang ano, uh, parang target nyo lang, goal lang natin na ito, gusto ko mag-move forward in this area of my life. And I'm telling you, nandyan na po kaagad ang favor ng Lord sa atin. Sapagkat from the beginning of beginnings, God's heart for all of us is to always move forward. Kaya po sa lahat ng mga nakatigil ngayon, as your pastor, medyo gusto ko po kayong paluin ng konti right, sa inyong mga, mga, mga likuran na hey, hey, move forward, move forward, stop, uh, stop that fear, stop that uh, self-pity, stop that victim, victim at uh, mentality na kasi uh, inapi ako, tama na, alright? Medyo mag-move forward na tayo, sinaktan na ko, diba? Tama na yan, move forward na. Yung nanakit sa'yo nang move forward na. <laughs> Kaya mag-move forward ka na rin. Mga kapatid, I'm telling you, by the end of 2022, we'll look back to this day and you say, I'm glad I'm, I did it. I'm so glad I did it. I'm so glad I moved forward. Alright, kaya po excited tayo sa FIJ City Church, sa ating mga kafate. Napakarami po nating gustong gawin na moving forward in terms of our evangelism, lahat po sa mga churches natin around the world. You know what? God is up to something new in 2022. At tayo pong lahat ay sama-sama na talagang magkakapit bisig, kapit kamay, we're gonna move forward. And of course, meron konting balakit itong Omicron, 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 ano ba itong Omicron na to Va- Variant. 
di ba? <laughs> ito po'y sandali lang. Alright? So, ito po'y hindi magtatagal. And you know what? Our church is gonna be stronger. We're gonna move forward. And who knows? In the next coming uh, few years, makakabili na po tayo ng sarili nating lupa. Amen? Kaya po mga kapatid, maraming maraming salamat, you know, for, for uh, just uh, doing this and just making a target, a goal na gagawin natin itong taon na to, Pastor, I'm gonna move forward in these three areas of my life. And I'm telling you again, you'll be glad you did it kapag ka paglipas po ng taon na ito. Alright? So mga kapatid, uh, before, I, b- b- before we pray, gusto ko na rin pong idami dito yung ating uh, giving. Uh, sa lahat po na aking mga ka-faith, marami marami salamat sa mga nagbigay sa ating heart for the house. Kagaya po ng ating projection na sinabi ko, di ba, na ito, yung mga lockdown probably na mangyayari. Mga kapatid, we want our church to be prepared and part of our moving on, all right, is to just continually be generous po sa inyong pagbibigay. And right now, again, we need your giving uh, more than ever. We need your help more than ever. Sapagat po ito moving forward, hindi lang po ako or konting tao yung gumagalaw. Napakarami po natin gumagalaw, narami moving parts, marami mga, mga, mga minimaintain and lalo kailangan, kailangan po natin ang tulong ng bawat isa as we continually move FIJ forward all by the grace of God. Kaya po nasa ilalim po na ating mga screens nasa description ng video na ito yung uh, yung paraan po para tayo magbigay and I'm pretty sure sa aking mga coffee you 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 love our church and uh, I believe your generosity will make the biggest difference in this uh, in this time of need that we are into right now. So mga kapatid, again ulitin ko ah, review po natin uh, yung yung the blessing of moving moving on ang mindset po ng Lord lahat tayo move on move on lagi walang titigil all right walang titigil kahit konting hakbang kahit malaking hakbang kapiranggot na hakbang just move on all right because that's God's heart for us and that, how you how do you move on make a decision to move on make a decision to let go all right live for the moment enjoy the moment mga kapatid. and of course trust God for your future. And I'm telling you, mas gagaang at mas diliwanag ang ating buhay kapag ginawa po natin ito sapagkat ang biyaya po ng Lord ay nasa atin every time we move on. Alright? Let's pray for now. Father, we just want to say thank you so much for your blessing. Maraming salamat po, Lord, sa encouragement mo sa bawat isa sa amin na sa bawat senaryo ng aming buhay na kinilalagyan ngayon, your heart for us is for us to just continually move on and move on and just go on all by your grace, Father God. Most especially, Lord, sa aming revelation, ang aking dalangin, sa aking mga kapatid, na patuloy kami, Panginoon, magkaroon ng desire to know you more for who you really are, Father God, that we'll have the desire to just let go of the of the old things that we knew about you and to just uh, embrace the new revelation of your glorious grace and favor for our lives, Father God. Maraming maraming salamat sa pagkas aking mga kapatid na nadidiscourage ngayon, na somehow depressed, Thank you, Lord God, for your grace and comfort that will kind of make them move on, Father God, right now, slowly but surely, Father God. Maraming maraming salamat sa kapayapaan at sa assurance, Lord, that as we move on, Lord God, doors will open for us, Father, that nobody can shut. I'm declaring, Lord, that 2022 for all of us is going to be the best year ever. Sa lahat ng mga may negosyo, sa lahat ng may mga career, I'm declaring that this is going to be the best year, Lord God, na mararanasan nila ang sobrang boost ng pagpapala mo. Mahawakan nila yung pinakamalaking amount na hindi pa nila nahawakan ever all because of your amazing grace for all of us. Thank you, Lord, so much. Even in our nation, the Philippines, Lord, we thank you, Lord God, because our Philippines will continually continually move on, Lord, in the middle of this pandemic, hanggang sa darating na eleksyon. Dinadalangin na namin, Panginoon, ngayon ng iyong biyaya, Lord God. Dinideclare na namin ng iyong pagpapala that the Philippines will be, be- better, Lord God, in the coming years all by the power of your grace. So once again, Lord, thank you for the blessings sa aming mga kapamilya, sa aming ka-faith, Lord God, ngayon, sa lahat ng aming mga mahal sa buhay. Thank you for your healing, protection, divine health, more than ever, Father God. Even yung lahat ng mga may sakit, I'm declaring healing, Father God, today. At sa darating na taon, Panginoon, I, I'm declaring that this virus, this COVID virus, is already dead, Father God. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Palapakan natin ang Lord. Yeah, can somebody shout hallelujah? Let's take this time to just give thanks to our Heavenly Father for His grace for all of us. Come on, come on. Mag-praise and worship po tayo by typing your your appreciation and your uh, your gratefulness to our Heavenly Father. Maraming maraming salamat for doing that. Yeah, praise the Lord. 
Praise God. Amen. Yes. So mga kapatid, thank you so much for joining. And again, uh, makikita-kita po tayo soon in our church. We will announce. Hindi po magtatagal itong, uh, itong ating extra measure. And I believe po na patuloy po pinalalakas tayo ng Panginoon. Patuloy tayong uh, pina, uh, talagang pinagtitibay ang ating pananampalataya sa isang katotohanan. That our God is a good God. Amen. Kaya po, uh, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga nagsasend ng stars. Salamat sa pagbibigay. Salamat sa pakikinig, sa panonood at pagsashare ng video na ito. And I'm continually declaring that this year is already a done deal. Alright? It's the best year ever. Because in 2022, grace wins all the time. Alright? God bless you, aking mga kapit. See you very, very soon. And just continually stay safe sa lahat ng ating mga celebration. And you know what? God is good. He really is. God bless you. See you. Love you all.